Okay, I'm back. It's about one minute to go for this um short time rotisserie. Shouldn't take that long now. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna prepare the Also, I'm going to test this steak with a thermometer. And here it is. I'm going to use this thermometer and check the temperature of the steak. Yep, so let me just. Um, see here. Hopefully, uh, get like uh, roughly between 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna just do that. See what the temperature runs under. Roughly 160 Fahrenheit. Sure, get a closer look. Roughly a little bit above 160 Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, but it's roughly um, medium well. Because you don't want it well done, you know, then the steak might taste a little tough. So I'm gonna pull it, you know, for the back. And next thing, you know, I'm gonna grab. Check this out. There's one steak, but I'm gonna check the other one. I'm gonna check the other one. And I'm gonna rotate that. I'm gonna test the Fahrenheit on that one too. And it should be the same. You know, both the one says the other one says. Yeah, roughly a little bit above that. Same temperature, so. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pull this back. I'm gonna take this temperature out. Well, it's like that. See the temperatures are dropping. Yeah. So it's medium well. That's the way it should be. Some people like it well done and everything's like you said. Technically, the uh, best time to eat steak is either you know, medium well. You don't have to be well done. If it's well done, you know, some people prefer that. But Mars is just close to well done. So basically, it's, it's near well done. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean this up. Take the steak out. Okay, I'm taking this out. <clears throat> so better. I'm gonna remove this over here. And I got my trusty forever blade. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, this thing is hot. So what I like to do, I'm gonna show this off, see how hot this thing is. <laughs> I'm gonna put this toward the sink. I don't like to wash this off. Yeah, should have done it when it was real hot. You can see the sizzle. <laughs> and get this off. Get this one soaked. I'm gonna get a knife. No, get a uh, fork. Get a fork. <clears throat> you can 
can't really see the how steaming hot it is. So I'm gonna check this out. Uh, put it here. Take the steak out. Put it here. Now. Really hot and juicy, doesn't it? Everybody want to see what the carving looks like. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's carve this bad boy. See what it look. How tender it is. Yep. It is medium well. And we get to a close up. Yeah, best thing to do a good close up. Let me do it again. Yeah, why not? Let's do it again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now the taste. Believe it or not, this is pretty good. Yeah, you know, you could do this on the rotisserie, you could do it in the oven. But on the rotisserie, you know, it's probably more healthier because give it all the fat and all the contents out and look at the mess it left behind. Look at all that mess. Let me wind back. Yep, that's the mess. That's the rotisserie leave behind. I mean, it's worth it, you know, be healthier. So, and the steak is real tender too. If it was um, cooked for like for 30 minutes or 32 minutes, it will be medium rare. Roughly be medium rare. But mine is, um, is medium. So roughly between medium and well done. So this is good as going to get. Usually I put like 35 um, minutes or 34 minutes, but that's it, man, you know. I'll probably enjoy this thing tonight and tomorrow and burn it off. Anyway, this is MHB signing off. Hey, I'm going to eat this thing now. All right, bye.